Welcome to DCTV. Last but not least, fasten your seatbelts and come along as we chop it up with some of the funniest comedians from all around the globe. Here at LNL, we do everything with a twist. We'll have the stand ups sit down and allow us to get to know the real folks behind the funny. That's right, we're getting all up in their business. So if you're hungry for humor and need a good laugh, you've stopped at the right place. Here's your host. Nikki Moore. Oh, my hey! Oh my God! True story. I almost didn't make it out here because I was running a little behind. I was getting my makeup, my face beat, and all that stuff. And my Sharon, my makeup artist, she got a little caught up, right? And she gave me these new lashes, but the lashes long as hell. You see? So. What had happened was, I got nervous, because when I got in the elevator, it, it got dark. Really, it was the lashes, though. But the question that I have is, do these lashes make my ass look big? <laughs> I was just worried. I'm just playing. Y'all ain't right. Welcome to another episode of Last But Not Least. Y'all know how we do, so let's get it popping. Take a look at our first guest. Monroe Martin made his TV debut in 2014 on the eighth season of NBC's Last Comic Standing, where he made it to the top 10. This snowballed into other TV appearances, such as season two of Adam Devine's on Comedy Central, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, and other TV shows. Monroe was born and raised in Philly. One usually wouldn't find Monroe's life story laughable. After all, how inappropriate is it to laugh at a foster child who jumped around from one dysfunctional family to another? Monroe is now on his way to become the type of comedian he admires, one who says exactly what he wants in the way he wants to say it. <laughs> All right, welcome, Monroe. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Check out our next guest. Comedian, actor, and model, Larry Lancaster is one of the most dynamic young personalities in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area. Born in Baltimore, Larry was raised in the southeast area of the city. He graduated from Carver High School, then served in the U.S. Armed Forces. He worked several years in a Maryland correctional facility until he could no longer deny his natural calling and began his comedic career. BET's Man on the Street is known for his political commentary and witnesses on issues related to race, culture, and class. He connects with his audience with quick wit, and his improv skills are like no other. Thanks for coming, Lair. Thanks for having me, Nick. I love you. I'm so love happy to back, see baby. you. Larry is one of my dearest friends, and he is also, he and Monroe, two of my favorite comedians. I, I, this is my first time meeting you, but I dig you, dude. Oh, you are thank funny you, thank as hell. You. I appreciate it. Yeah, you make false, <laughs> you 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 make people almost aspire to be a foster child. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Listen, on last but not least, we have two questions that we like to ask of everybody. So we want to get your take on it. So what I'd like to know is, I want you to describe for me both of you. You start with you, Larry. Your your most embarrassing on stage moment. Um, my, my most em embarrassing on stage moment was I was just starting out doing comedy. I thought I was hot shit. I was doing pretty good. And um, I got drunk just before I went on, <laughs> which I didn't plan to, but I didn't time the cranberries no, and vodka. No. <laughs> and I was coming down and I went and I bombed and I ate it. And the lady started heckling me. Oh. And instead of, you know, handling the heckler like you should do, I got personal and offensive, Aww. and I called it like a monkey face, B I T C H, or something like that. It wasn't fun. And she said, That's the funniest shit you said all night. And everybody <laughs> cracked up. Like, she wouldn't even. She stole the show. She stole the show. <laughs> and so, um, one of the, the, you know, the veteran comments told, told one of my buddies, Take me outside. And it was just so embarrassing for me. And I always swore that if I ever saw that lady again, I would apologize to him, buy a drink. <laughs> And, you know, just to say I was sorry, so. Go ahead, tell him you're sorry. Both. He's sorry, Paul. <laughs> <I'm, laughs> I think you handled it right, though. Right. Yeah. That's a little personal inside humor. But it was actually one of, one of the, the funniest heckle jokes 
was the night that you said to her in the club. We were uh, we were having a set, and she had because you probably don't even remember. And you said your ass looked like oatmeal boiling. Oh, yeah. I thought I would gag. I was like, oh my god, that's been, it's one of my favorite handle the heckler lines. Right. Is it the same situation? No, it, it was oh, a different right. situation. This is like, my He's a master heckler. Yeah. Oh. He's the heckle whisperer. Right. Whisperer. And I learned from that experience. You did. Yes. <laughs> Learn from that experience. It was quite humbling. That, I was nervous too because she actually had a big guy with her, <laughs> who's also a police officer. Right. And his 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 he had his fingers look like Milky Way candy bars, and I'm like, if this guy gets mad and slaps the shit out of me. It's nothing I could do. You just gotta take the slap. Right, I had to take it. Did you have to leave your handprints on my cheek like that though? <laughs> Were you in there? Bro. Yeah, I was there for that one. Yeah. Describe your most embarrassing on stage moment. I mean, there are a lot of them, but. Uh... This one, similar to his story, uh, this there was a, a comedy a comedy spot in New York called uh, Mocha's Lounge. Mm -hmm. You done that? You mm -hmm. done that? No. Mocha. Uh, Smokey. You know Smokey? Yeah, I know Suarez. Yeah. yeah real, he, funny uh, real funny guy. Real funny guy. Real funny guy. And he loves putting up like younger comics. And I was in New York maybe like a year after that. He put me on first time I killed. He was like, "Come back, uh, and I'll pay you." So I came back the next week, and arrogant mm -hmm. thought i was going to kill got up there <laughs> silent you can hear like the you know, washing mm -hmm. dishes and shit <laughs> and the lady just stood up turned around to everybody who's like he just ain't fucking funny yo <laughs> like i didn't know <laughs> like <laughs> like I, like she was in on the secret like, right, right, she right, was the right. cue card right, yeah. she gave away the ending to a movie he didn't so. pay me he didn't pay me <laughs> oh he really yeah he was just like wow. next time i don't oh. pay people to bomb he said, I'll pay people to bomb. I'll keep people to bomb. Man, he was right. He could keep his money. That's dirty. Yeah. He could have at least paid. It's no, like you were, you were on commission or something. Yeah. Like you got paid per Next last. time, get your money first. <laughs> in case it don't I'll learn that. Get your money first. Get your money Can first. Can you really trust my name, Smokey, though? No. <laughs> no. I'm going to need you to give me my money. That's one of them old homes. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like from way back. Right, right. Listen, next question. This is the next house question. If you could talk to anybody, Take some time with this, dead or alive, and ask them one question. Who would it be and what would you ask? Wow, that's <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's start with you, Monroe. Why well, couldn't go to him first? I don't we started with him last We both yeah. got the thinking face on. We I both, don't know. Uh, I'm Jesus. not even sure. Yeah. Damn. Okay. A comic? Anybody. Anybody. Anybody, dead or alive, they don't even have to be breathing. Yeah, Who would it be and what would you ask? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. Because there's we'll Google. We'll come back to so. you. There's Google? I can just Google You're going to Google somebody dead? No, I can just Google what I don't know. Well, that so you, is true. I that actually had two answers, but I, I, you know, I can only have one, right? You can have two. Okay. The serious answer would be I would like to talk to Jesus. Okay. If I could have a and conversation. Ask him. And ask him, you know, did you know how things were going to turn out? Mm. That's kind of deep. Mm. Right. All right. And the other one was Abraham Lincoln. I ask him. Did you really have to go to the theater? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was With the movie? No other plan? shit you couldn't have done. There wasn't no movies there. <laughs> right. so, was it a solid movie? <laughs> Was, was, it, was, it, was the play worth it? Was it the debut? <laughs> Couldn't you just take was it off the your hat? Of was it Manny? <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> well, that be free to right, slay. Yeah. So he probably had to support yeah. the, the first black act mm -hmm. at the Lincoln Theater. All right, you ain't got I, nobody. I don't have anybody. Okay, yeah. that's deep. I'm gonna need you yeah. to get off Google and get some stuff right. in your soul. You're the foster kid after all. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break while Monroe thinks about who he would ask questions Oh, you're still going to come back to that. <laughs> right. No, I'm not. I'm oh, not off the hook. <laughs> we'll be asking some more deep questions that you've always wondered about. Stay in your seats. We'll be right back. You're watching Last But Not Least. Oh! Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm, nice. Where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. If I got to go to college, oh my goodness. 
I like discovering new things. You get to see what works for you and what doesn't. That helps you evolve as a person. You get to make like a, a supernova of skill or talent or whatever it is. I've always wanted to go to college. I just feel like that's my destiny. My name is Queen and I am your dividend. I'm Larry Lancaster and you're watching Last But Not Least only on DCTV. When they test you, stand firm and move only when you hear the seatbelt click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. having a great time. So let's get to know the people behind the comedy. What are some of the things that you won't joke about? Is there anything that is so serious you're like, I'm just not going to joke about that? Let's start with you this time. Um, no, I don't take anything off the table. I just feel like there's a time mm -hmm. and, a, and, a, and a structure on how to talk about it. Agreed. When people say too soon, they just didn't hear it in a right, in a right way or you didn't frame it right but I don't think anything's off the table. Okay, all right. How about you, Larry? Um, I'm pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. I try not to be mean-spirited, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, when mm -hmm. I do, when I say things. But unless somebody heckles you. Unless yeah. someone, because then you're asking for it. But yeah. other than that, yeah, I try. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's the beauty of being a comic, that you take things that really aren't funny and try to make them funny. Okay. Uh, if and it doesn't it, come from love, then right. it's not going to be funny. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's in swift total love that I say your ass looks like oatmeal boy. <laughs> it right. is. I wanted you to read back. What is this? <laughs> Get some spikes and stuff. <laughs> Get an iron and smooth out the Yes. Bars. I know, because I smooth mine. <laughs> I live in a spike. <laughs> Listen, on Lap and Not Least, we like to do something that we call our comedy Mount Rushmore, right? So what I want to know in 30 seconds or less, your comedy Mount Rushmore, I'm sorry with you, Larry. I did Monroe last. Okay, I'm um, ready. I always I'm like ready. to name people that people don't necessarily know because we all fine. have our favorites. You can say Martin, Richard, and of course they are. But I like um, a guy, Freddie Ricks. I think he's extremely funny. Freddie, Freddie's mm -hmm. really um, funny. Tony Woods, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Tony Roberts, and a guy named uh, Raymond Grady. Okay, good, good, good. I got <laughs> Keith Robinson, Wanda. Uh, Chris Rock and Patrice O'Neill. The Wanda? No, Wanda, Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes, Wanda Sykes. okay. Yeah. Oh, she has like a Wanda great Sykes voice. Too. Yeah, and her yeah, timing yeah. is her great. Her timing yeah. is on I love point. Her. Yeah. So listen, I want to know when did you first know you were funny? Um, it actually started in the third grade. And I was like a little homie kid. Like, you know, all the kids had like designer clothes and I didn't have that stuff. I was wearing like, you know, the Huskies with the little wolf on the pack. So the kids used to, you remember that? They had the yes. little wolf on the pack. Yes. That's when everybody else was wearing right, gators. Right, right, Everybody was wearing gators. I had the wolf on the pack. So. Yeah. And the elastic jeans, the elastic in the jeans. Ooh. So I had, I, um, I, so I wasn't like the cool kid. And I remember saying something funny and everybody bust out laughing in the class, third grade class. And I was like, how can I recapture that moment? Yeah. And it was like how some people say they ch try to chase that first high, and for me that's what it was like, mm. trying to get recapture that first high. That's right. <laughs> Mine was in high school, and I was failing uh, geometry, and I would just make my teacher laugh, named Mr. Sellers, and he, he still passed me. <laughs> it was weird, like I would just make him laugh and all that stuff. And he passed me, and I was like, oh, I can benefit from this. Mm -hmm. I still got to learn something, <laughs> but. You knew? You had yeah. the wherewithal to know that you yeah, had I was to like, learn oh, I still got to, I can't, I can't just keep getting pushed through. I'm going to be stupid, but I got I to gotta get through this class. So what made you decide to actually move it and take it to the stage? 
Uh, that didn't happen until like 21. Um, I was watching a show, was it Coming to the Stage? Okay. And there was a comic, Denny Live. You know, mm-hmm. Denny, 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 yeah, Denny was on there. And good friend. At, yeah, great comic. Uh, I remember watching that and just seeing this dude on there. And he was funny week in and week out. And then he, he came in second place. But to me, he was still like the winner. Mm-hmm. And that summer, I seen him at his regular job. Like he was a sanitation worker. And <laughs> see, people take that as a dish. Yeah. But to me, yeah. that was like, oh, he's a real yeah. dude. He's yeah. not like, right. we look at, I looked at Chappelle like a superstar. Chris right. Rock is a superstar. Yeah. This was a dude who was on TV, but still had to go to work. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I can do it. And I started doing it and I sucked. <laughs> How about you, Larry? Um, I, decided, I started really late. I didn't start till I was 30. And I had been the guy that everybody always said, you're so funny, mm-hmm. you should be a comic. And mm-hmm. I never believed in myself. I was like, well, I'm funny around you guys, but I'm not funny enough to be a professional comedian. And one night I went to an open mic and uh, on a Tuesday night, and there was a guy named Stacy Carver, mm. real funny guy mm. from New Jersey, and a guy named Jay Phillips. They had a comedy night, and it was only like 10 or 15 people there, but it was the best experience I ever had. And I walked up to him and I said, man, how can I make people feel like you guys made me feel tonight? Wow. And he said, um, take these tickets. You know they got to pimp you. Take these oh, yeah. tickets, sell them, and this will be your registration fee. And at the time, I was a corrections officer. I was working at the jail. So I got all my coworkers to come and support me. I got, like, drunk and everything, you know, and I went down there and won. Got a standing ovation. Mm. Didn't even know what I was doing. Mm. And um, I've been doing it ever since. That's wonderful. When did you quit your job? Um, about eight, nine years ago. How much, how long after you started doing comedy? No, I was doing comedy while I was working, working at the right. Club. right. And then I quit to pursue it full time. Mm. I, was, I was busy last week getting fired <laughs> from my job. Oh, so, what did you do? <laughs> I, I, I did comedy. <laughs> That's what I did. They no, fired me for being oh, funny. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they fired me for being funny on video. <laughs> <laughs> True story. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> My job was funny. Though. My job was funny. I was a property manager for like 30 years. I was doing property management. And, you know, we, I, I really knew I was funny because I always try to find the funny factor in every situation. And it's not a lot funny mm. about being poor and in the impoverished conditions that most of people who look like us live mm-hmm. in. And we would have people dying on a daily basis. We'd have people getting evicted, and you know, I'm hugging them out the door. <laughs> people crying with them, not me, but you know, people in the office. <sighs> you know, I had one girl that would cry about everything. I came to work one day, somebody had died, and I rarely cried, and I'm crying, and I'm like, Mr. Court died, and she just started crying. <laughs> She just started crying, and she was like, wait, who died? <laughs> <laughs> I knew then that we had something, right? And a couple of years after that, we just took it to the stage. Mm. We got to take a break, but when we return, <laughs> you, you might think we're talking about a car accident, football. I promise you we're not. Uh, <laughs> what is it you say? Stay tuned for more. I'm laughing out of The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. We have the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to Last But Not Least. I know what that sound means. 
it's time to smash or pass. You ever look at a couple and wonder, why are they together? Or just, damn. All the time. What does she see in her? They gay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she must have a lot of money. So we're going to put some pictures up of some well-known folk. And I want to know if you would smash or, or pass. pass. All right? And be honest. All, right. All things considered. Let's roll the first one. Hillary Clinton. That's no. Hillary? That's Hillary. I thought that oh, that's was Bill. Christopher Walker. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, Chucky doll or something. Chucky doll. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Yeah. This is not even a recent Hillary. This is like a, a few years ago, Hillary looks like. She looks like old balls. Yeah. She got that Roland Martin ascot thing. I going know. On. And she wears those Star Trek Next Generation pants. I haven't seen anybody with pearls come out of their ascot like that. Oh, yeah, that's that Monroe, sure. Hillary you sure Clinton in nah. the White House. Nah, I'm done with white women. <laughs> you done with white women? I'm done. I, I told myself this you was the last year. You know that would be a hell of a career move. I know, but I, I couldn't. Imagine the White House correspondent dinner. Uh, it'd be awkward. Yeah, no, would? I couldn't, yeah. You just couldn't She's get too past too secretive it. too. She don't let you see her text messages or anything. <laughs> you know, she won't give you a Netflix password. She's stubborn as shit. No. <laughs> What about you, Larry? I, I mean, got, all things considered now. I got Hillary strapping up. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Nobody but you and you? No, no I got Hillary putting the joint on. Whole West Wing oh. empty, <clears throat> naked, butt naked, yeah. in the middle of the floor. And guess what? I would not be there, <laughs> there. <laughs> to know any of those so details. So you guys would both pass? We pass. Okay. All right. We're going to pass Couldn't on Couldn't do it. I couldn't. Okay. Oh, next, let's, let's check out the next person. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. That's a no-brainer? Yeah. That was easy. That was a layup. Okay. That was too yeah. easy. That, that was, was almost too easy. too easy. You know, she do have a little history, though. Okay. What's her history? <laughs> well, I don't know anything Men about don't it. Men don't care. Men don't care. History is good. Right. <laughs> C call me a historian. Uh-huh. I I'm need telling experience. you, I, I think y'all was lying about Hillary, though. I, I swear to God. Mm -mm. Men, men don't care, and I'm telling you from experience. She looked like broiled chicken. <laughs> she did. She did look like um, chicken breast. Just couldn't do it. All right, all right. Okay, let's check out the next one. <laughs> mm, that, now, that's a handsome woman. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Martha That's Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Camp Cut Cupcake. Not Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> I thought it was Connie Chong. <laughs> That's her no, Martha's actually, gangster, though. She I went knew to it was jail. Martha, but she's bad ass. Yeah, she's bad ass. So you would you wouldn't. For investment, for insider trading. So it wasn't no hard stuff though. But it wasn't it like was no hard stuff she for, did hard uh, time, for a whole white lady. It's yeah. like a text message. That's what she went to jail for. She went to jail for some gangster shit. Though. Yeah. That was gangster that was in, gangster. in the court. Insider trading. Well, I mean, not that everybody doesn't do it, but everybody don't get caught. Yeah. She's crafty. So somebody put her out there. To save you money. Almost like what happened to me. Somebody put you out there? Somebody put me out you the, there. You boss and steward. Got me fired. <laughs> <laughs> pass. <laughs> no, I'm You going to pass on Martha? I would smash. I would smash Martha. I'll smash Martha because anybody that can make grape jelly from the jail yard is all right with me. Ma you know, Look, Martha, more Martha showed the girl something <laughs> She's that resourceful. Uh -huh. that, you know, people don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 okay, so you would you would you would smash Martha? Yeah, I'll smash. But Martha. you would pass. Nah, I'll take it down, get some hand towels, some new sheets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Some fresh linen. The Martha right. Stewart collection. Right. They, they the saw. Monroe Martha. Right. The Monroe Stewart Monroe collection. Monroe Martha Stewart. And I'll take her last name. And you take her last name. So you'd be Monroe Stewart. <laughs> 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 you probably could go far. You'd be uh -huh. a kept man. With that. Yep. You know, I think Martha Stewart did date a black guy. Uh, she kept him on a Oh, no. She kept wanting to do that. But did you see her on that roast? Oh, she, she, yeah, she, oh, brought, yeah, the she brought it. She was roast. funny, what yeah. Was that? that was, uh, was it Justin Bieber's? Yeah, yeah. it was Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber's. Yeah. And she let him have she it. Was at, she let him have it. Like, she was like, she went all the way back to her jail. She, yeah, she, she went to the yard Yeah, she did. on Justin. 
She well, her like, yard had like a garden in it. When she well, was at that time she had had some street cred. Yeah, she had jail, street cred. You know what I'm saying? So she went in there and she just like she she cut loose on Lil B. She did. It was unbelievable. And then told him, "Call me." <laughs> <laughs> And then she gave him her people number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the next one. Another layup. Yes, really? Of course. Yeah. Yo, Who she wouldn't? has men trouble, though. She kind of crazy. She does. So what? She crazy. She as does, hell. but she, I'll be one of those troubles. Yeah. She does have that so trouble. So Halle Berry though. is a pass. Halle a Berry is a smash. She crazy, though. She crazy. What's, what's she crazy about her? You, you Halle Berry. You ran somebody over in a truck and think you just gonna run off and ain't nobody gonna notice you. I mean, Raven Simone, Brandy, uh, Suge Knight. Suge Knight. People, <laughs> people hit people with cars. All yeah. the time. All the time. Right, but, the I mean, lady that backed over her husband uh -huh. and went forward and right, came right, back right, over right. him again. That's what's happened. She can't keep a man, so that tells you something. Maybe she garbage in the set. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of pretty though. girls really ain't good in the sack. She's, I'm telling you right now. She might be dry. She a dead fish? Dry. You ever yeah, had somebody dry? <laughs> Wait, we can't curse, but we can say she's dry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she might be dry. She may be dry. Yeah. yeah. Dry. But you got to, like, you know, use something like Crisco or something. <laughs> <laughs> she's prudish. Okay. After all this smashing and passing, it's time to take a break. So you're watching Laugh But Not Least on DC TV, and we'll be back. With Mon more Monroe Martin and Larry Lancaster. Monroe Stewart. Monroe Stewart. <laughs> Thank you. My man. My man. I'm putting it out there in the universe. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna make some juice. Looks good. You ready to try it? Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay. I actually took another sip. You saw it. Search we can for ideas on how to get healthy together. For those dealing with the struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for advice and support. I'm Monroe Martin, and you're watching Laugh But Not Least on DC TV. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free. Handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. <laughs> Is that Bran? Colleges love extracurricular activities. Uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. <laughs> oh, we make a mess over here. Welcome back. <laughs> you watch the laugh and not least. I want to thank our guests, Monroe Martin Stewart and Larry Lancaster. And special thanks to our DJ, DJ Oxygen. Yeah, he rocked out. And thank you for joining me, Nikki Moore, on DC TV's Laugh But Not Least where we bring you into the minds and lives of our favorite comedians. If you want to find out more about what you saw here today, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at YourDCTV, and visit our website, dctv.org. Remember, when you think you've had enough, there's always room for more. <laughs> <laughs>